Right, I've uh, I've hooked up my uh, spindle slightly different there, but it's a uh, north magnet, south magnet, north magnet, south magnet, and uh, I've got my uh, bifilia coil which are uh, hooked up so it's only one output, so it's one big coil, and. Uh, uh, I got one of these uh, LEDs which uh, if you polarise it the one way it uh, glows green polarise it the other way and it uh, glows red now uh, I've got it hooked up with my uh, multimeter and my ammeter now uh, if I was to show you this now just generating the, uh, if you spin that you'll get some uh, voltage and current out now, uh, you don't actually have to uh, spin it that quickly if I can show you on the uh, multimeters. If I spin that now, we're getting about 1.5 out and 3 milliamps. And uh, it's enough to light this up. Now, uh, if I do it uh, a little bit faster now, you can get about 2 volts and about 10 milliamps. Now, uh, what I was thinking was uh, so building this that uh, something else spins it because it seems that uh, when they're uh, north and south, north and south, you can generate a lot more out of it. And it works either way. And uh, I, I thought it was quite shocking that uh, if I was to spin this now. The, it's the amount of time that you can get that to light up from uh, that little uh, kinesthetic action of me just spinning it. It's quite a lot. I just wait until it uh, stops spinning. It's not shining very brightly now. But that's uh, it's quite a lot of uh, output for the, uh, the amount of input that you're putting into it. Definitely. That's great.